Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. Welcome you all in PIST virtual learning system session 2020. I hope you are enjoying your virtual learning classes. Alhamdulillah. Dear students, uh, the, this is your computer science class and this is for grade first year. And um, uh, we are on chapter number five, computer networks. This is our 31st video lecture. And dear students, in previous lecture, uh, we discussed about uh, IP addressing and IP addressing schemes and the classes. Here is the brief introduction and the overview of the previous lecture, what is IP addressing scheme. So in detail, we have already discussed in the previous lecture. So IP address basically to, is used to communicate with each other. IP address have two parts. The first part identifies the network to which the computers are connected. And the second part identifies the computer on the given network. So in previous lecture, we have discussed about it. There are 32 bit address which are broken into four parts and separated by the dot. And this is called the deci decimal dotted location. Uh, dotted decimal format. This is dotted decimal format. And uh, in previous lecture, we also discussed about the classes of IP addressing. We have three classes, class A, B, C addresses. And uh, here we will continue subnet mask. Here we will continue what is a subnet mask. Each IP address is really made up of a two different pieces Network portion defines the network addresses, what network to route to. Host portion defines host on that specific network. A subnet mask is also a 32-bit number that tells the router which bits of the IP address are for the network portion and the which bits are for the host portion. So dear students, subnet mask is also a 32-bit 30, number and it is used to tell the router that which bits of the IP address are reserved for the network portion and which bits are reserved for the host portion. So subnet mask is a binary number but is also usually communicate in dotted decimal format of CDR format. So each subnet mask contains, uh, like on your screen you can view, all bits are on all bits are on means that this is all network here network one two and three so this is also 32 bits address so each octet contains the eight bits it contains the eight bits this is the binary notation and in dotted decibel notation here if all bits are on it means that we have 255 the maximum network number are 255. This is the subnet mask for this class, the default subnet mask of this class IP address. Class A subnet mask here, 255. Here we have a one network and all are hosts. So subnet mask is 255. Here class B, here we have two network ID, so here we have subnet mask 255.255. Here we have two hosts, 0, dot, dot 0. So this is class A subnet mask, where we have one network ID. This is class B uh, subnet mask, where we have two network ID. And this is class C subnet mask, where we have three network ID, 255.255.255. So these are subnet masks which rep represent your IP address classes. Class A subnet mask is 255.0.0.0. Class B, two network IDs. Class C, we have three network IDs. So here suppose an IP address is 192.168.123.0. So here 192 is an IP address. And here, if you will convert this IP address, so it is 192 is equal to double one and double zero, double zero, double zero. 168 is equal to 
वन जीरो वन जीरो एंड वन डबल जीरो जीरो वन ट्वेंटी थ्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो डबल वन डबल वन जीरो डबल वन वन थर्टी टू इज इक्वल टू वन डबल जीरो डबल जीरो वन डबल जीरो देर फोर द आई पी एड्रेस वन नाइनटी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट वन ट्वेंटी थ्री डॉट वन थर्टी टू इन बाइनरी इज इक्वल टू डबल वन जीरो 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 डॉट वन जीरो वन जीरो वन डबल जीरो वन डॉट जीरो डबल वन डबल वन जीरो डबल वन वन डबल जीरो डबल जीरो वन एंड डबल जीरो एज एन एग्जाम्पल सपोज थर्टी टू बेट्स सबनेट मास्क इज टू फिफ्टी फाइव डॉट टू फिफ्टी फाइव डॉट टू फिफ्टी फाइव विच इज द डिफॉल्ट सबनेट मास्क ऑफ क्लास सी नेटवर्क सो दिस आई पी एड्रेस बिलोंग्स टू क्लास सी आई पी एड्रेस दिस इज डेसीमल डॉटेड डेसीमल नोटेशन एंड दिस इज द बाइनरी फॉर्म ऑफ योर आई पी एड्रेस एंड दिस एड्रेस बिलोंग्स टू क्लास सी नेटवर्क द डेसीमल नंबर टू फिफ्टी फाइव इन बाइनरी इज इक्वल टू ऑल वन इट मीन्स ऑल बेट्स आर ऑन वेन यू हैव टू फिफ्टी फाइव इफ इट मीन्स ऑल बेट्स आर ऑन सो द सबनेट मास टू फिफ्टी फाइव uh in binary is all ones all ones dot all ones dot all zero to separate the network number and the computer number of ip address 192.168.123.132 will line up the ip address and the subnet mask so here we have a ip address the binary number of this ip address here we have a subnet mask of this ip address the first 24 bits the number of ones in the subnet mask identifies the network numbers and the last 8 bits the number of zeros identifies the computer number this given the following so it means that we can write the ip address in decimal uh, dotted decimal notation and here the all ones indicates that it's a uh, class c Uh, ip address class c ip address in class c ip address we have three network ids and we have 20 first 24 bits which are on and then we have zeros which indicates that it's a host ids and computers so dear students alhamdulillah we have finished this chapter and in this chap in this chapter we have discussed these important and key points so uh, key points are the number one a computer network is an interconnection between two or more computer so they can communicate with each other so in this chapter in the beginning we discuss about what is a computer network how computer networks are interconnected with each other So when two and more than two computers are in, interconnected with each other is called a computer network then data communication consists of three basic components which are sender medium and receiver so data communication means that the communication of data exchange of data and information and we must have three component the sender who wants to send the data and the receiver who wants to receive the data and the connection between sender and receiver then we discussed modes of data communication refer to the method or way information is transferred from one place to another there are three types of data communication modes which are simplex half duplex and full duplex then we discussed in in asynchronous transmission the time interval between two character is uh, not fixed whereas in the synchronous transmission is fixed then we have guided transmission media uses cable that guide the data signals along the specific path then we discuss unguided transmission media transmits data signals through open air so uh unguided means that the wireless communication and uh, dear students in the next le lecture and in the next chapter we will discuss wireless medium in detail then uh we discussed a communication satellite is a relay station in the space that receives signals from ground antennas amplifies them and then retransmit to another earth station which can be 
thousands of miles away. Then a switch is a small device that connects multiple computers together in a LAN. A router, a gateway, all these are, if you remember, all these are network hardware. So a switch, a hub, a router, a gateway. So router is a device that receives data packets and forward them to closer computer, closer computer, the remote computer by selecting the best pathway based on network traffic. A gateway is a device that is used to connect a network to another network that uses different protocol. So all these are network hardware. Then a computer network in which each computer on the network act as either a server or a client is called client server network. A computer network in which every computer is capable of playing the role of client server or both at the same time is called peer to peer network. And then a network that spans a limited physical area such as building or a group or a building called local area network, LAN, WAN and MAN. So a network that spans large physical area connecting several sites of a organization across cities, countries and continent is called wide area network. Then a network that spans from several buildings or a large campus or entire city is called metropolitan area network MAN. A network that provides remote access to individual and offices to their organization network using public telecommunication infrastructure such as internet is called virtual private network VPN. Then uh, we discussed the arrangement of network nodes and connection between them is called network topology. And uh, we discussed different types of network topologies, bus, ring, star, mesh topologies. And then we discussed OSI model, open system interconnection model was designed to facilitate creating system in which men from different vendors can communicate with each other. And then TCP IP was another model and these two are protocols as well, which was developed by Department of Defense USA to implement transmission control protocol and internet protocol. It provides communication between two or more different computer system. Then in a circuit switched network, a physical connection is established through the network for transmitting data. In a packet switching network, all the data that is to be transmitted is broken down into small blocks called packets. These packets are passed from the source computer to the destination computer through several packet switching exchange. In the last, we discuss IP addressing schemes are used in computer networks to identify a computer for communication and uh, we discuss about it the classes of IP addressing and then subnet mask. So dear students, now here is your exercise, the MCQ, select the best answer for the following MCQs. The number one is, in which communication mode data can be sent and received in both direction but not simultaneously? A, simplex, B, half duplex, C, full duplex and D, synchronous transmission. So what do you say? In which communication mode data can be sent and received in both direction but not simultaneously? Yes, it's half duplex. In half duplex data can be sent and received in both direction but not simultaneously. The next question is which of the following network devices connects a network to another network that use different protocols. Which network devices connect a network to another network that use different protocols? Is it switch, gateway, router and modem? The correct answer is yes, gateway. Yes, the gateway is used to connect different protocols of different network. It is used to connect different protocols of different network. Which of the following networks provides remote access to individual and offices to their organization's network? 
land, local area network, van, wide area network, man, metropolitan area network, and VPN, virtual private network. So which of the following networks provides remote access to individual? Yes, which network? Yes, VPN. VPN is used to provide remote access to individual and offices to their organization's network. Next, number four is in which topology a hub switch is used? In star topology, a ring topology, bus topology, a mash topology. So students, do you remember in which topology a hub switch is used? Yes. Yes, in a star topology, the central device is hub. A hub is used in a star topology. All computers are connected with a central device called a hub or switch. Number five is which topology is most expensive to implement? Which topology is most expensive to implement? Star topology, ring topology, uh, bus topology or mash topology. So dear students, which topology is most expensive to implement? Yes, the mash topology is most expensive to implement because here we have lots of cables and multiple connection and links are available in mash topology. Then which layer of OSI model decides which physical path with the data should be take to reach the destination. Yes, the which layer is responsible? Data link layer, network layer, transport layer, or a session layer? Yes, which layer is responsible for physical path? Yes, network layer. Network layer is responsible for the physical path of your uh, data communication from source to destination computer. Number seven is which network layer performs security, name recognition, logging, and similar functions? Transport layer, network layer, session layer, presentation layer. So which layer performs security, name recognition? Yes, dear students, which layer is responsible? Number seven, answer is session layer. Session layer is responsible to perform security, name recognition, logging, and similar function. So session layer basically is responsible to establish, maintain, and terminate the session. So all information related to name recognition and logging off and logging on is maintained by the session layer. Number eight, which of these cables transmit data using light waves. Twisted pair, coaxial cable, fiber optic, and telephone line. So the answer of number eight is fiber optic cable. Fiber optic cable transmit data using light wave, light pulses, using light wave, using light pulses. Which of these use a start stop bit for data transmission? Asynchronous transmission, B, synchronous transmission, C, half duplex, D, full duplex transmission. So, asynchronous transmission is responsible to use a start and stop bit for data transmission. Two additional bits are attached in asynchronous transmission mode to send and receive your data. Which bits are used at the start of class BIP address? So dear students, do you remember? So which is class B range? What is the class B range? So here we have 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, double 1, 0. So here the class B address is 1, 0. 1, 0 is uh, class B IP address. It is represent class B IP address. So here is your homework questions. Dear students, write a short answer of the following question. 
Number one is define computer network. So when two and more than two computers are connected with each other, that is called a computer network. And the computer network is a collection of computers or other devices called nodes that communicate with each other on a shared network medium. And uh, the computer people use computer network almost almost daily to conduct personal and professional business. This trend is accelerating as more people discover the power of computers and communication networks. The second question is define network communication and its basic components. So network communication means that a computer network is an interconnection between two or more computers or other network devices so that they can communicate with each other to share network resources, both hardware and software. So a network is a made up of collection of computers and other network devices and allow information exchange to take place. So the network communication components are sender, message, medium, protocol and receiver. Briefly describe the modes of network communication. <coughs> I'm sorry, the modes of communication we have simplex, half duplex, and full duplex, then synchronous and asynchronous. So you have to write with the help of diagram and examples as we discuss in the lecture. The next is differentiate between asynchronous and synchronous network transmission. So we have already discussed asynchronous and synchronous transmission. So you can write differences between the asynchronous and synchronous transmission. Then we have differentiate between server and client computer. So if you remember that the server computers are those computer which have the all basic information and all resources are attached with the main computer. This is the main computer and the client computers are those computer who send the request to the main computer to get something to get some data. So this is a relationship between client and server computer. Then differentiate between LAN and WAN, local area network and wide area network. So local area network means when your computers are connected with each other and close to each other. So this is called local area network, the LAN. A local area network spans a limited physical area and the WAN, the wide area network spans a large physical area. What is OSI model? Open system interconnection model. This is seven layer model. And here we have in this model, we have seven layers and each layer is responsible for different Mm, uh, functions and can perform different tasks during the data communication. So OSI model proposed by the ISO and um, there are different seven layers and you have to write the names of the layers here. This is a short question. So you can write, you can just write the names of all layers, but in order. So first of all, we have application layer, but remember that application layer is a seventh layer, topmost layer, but the seventh number layer. Then we have six number layer, uh, presentation layer, then fifth session and uh, fourth transport, then third network layer. And the second is data link layer and physical layer is the first layer. So you have to write in the form of sequence, just man mention it. Apply if you are going to write the application layer at the topmost, then you have to write the seventh layer, the seven number with application layer. And uh, students remember that in, in exam, sometimes you have a question from OSI model layer like this, dash is a fifth layer of OSI model. So you have to start from the top like application seven, presentation six, and session is a fifth layer. The session is a fifth layer. So you will write the session layer is a fifth layer. Dash is a seventh layer of OSI model. So application layer is a seventh layer. Dash is a uh, first layer of OSI layer model. So physical layer is a first layer of OSI model. So you must remember the sequence of all these layers. Then compare TCP IP model with OSI model. So TCP IP transmission control protocol. This is another model and um, concise form of OSI model. 
TCP IP. In OSI model, we have seven layers and in TCP IP model, we have uh, four layers. This is a four layer model and uh, it's um, application layer, transport network, data link and physical layer. We have basically four layer. We have application transport network and network access layer. So these are the four layers and this is a concise model of OSI uh, model. TCP IP is a concise form of your OSI model. Then we have differentiate between circuit switching and packet switching network. This is uh, the comparison between the circuit switching and the packet switching network. Then briefly describe IP addressing. IP addressing, the definition of IP addressing, what is IP and addressing, why it is important because on internet, every communication and every computer have a unique IP address and that is called IP addressing. This is 32 bit address and uh, we have eight octets and eight bits in one octet uh, and it is separated by dot. 32 bits are separated by dot. After eight bits, we have dot, then dot, and then dot. We can replace these binary numbers with the uh, decimal number and this is called dotted decimal notation. So dear students, we have already discussed all these things in the lectures. So you have to complete your short question answers and uh, your long question answers. Your long question answers are question number one, explain different types of guided media. So long questions are detailed question. You have to write the detail along with diagrams. Um, guided media, uh, explain microwave and satellite communication. Third is write note on a switch router and gateway. Then fourth, explain detail client server and peer to peer networks. Number five, define the network topology and explain its types. So dear students, you must remember you have to draw the diagrams where uh, it is needed and you can ex you cannot explain without the diagram. So in topologies, you have to draw the topologies, uh, uh, bus, star, ring, and you have to mention the advantages and disadvantages as well along, along with working and uh, how uh, along with working and layout with the help of diagram. Then OSI layer, you have to draw the diagram of OSI model. You can differentiate with different layers with the help of the blocks. You can draw uh, blocks and represent application layer, then next block, then next. So it's a layered architecture. So you can represent with the help of blocks and layer. Then uh, if you are explaining the network hardware, router, gateway, client server, and peer-to-peer -peer network. So here you can also draw the diagram. So in this chapter, this, this chapter is related to computer network. So you have to draw uh, diagrams to explain your topic. And uh, this chapter is finished. We have completed chapter number five. Uh, all uh, question answers and all topics are covered. Alhamdulillah, so this chapter is ended now. And uh, thank you so much, dear students. Uh, inshallah, in next lecture, we will continue the chapter number six. We will, inshallah, we will start the next chapter, chapter number six, that is a wireless communication. And in next, in next lecture, we will start wireless communication. Till then, uh, Allah Hafiz, take care.